In our previous video, we set up two models, one which is the user model and one which is the post model. And we created the migrations, which, which were the blueprints of the columns in our database tables. And as you can see, they have all migrated over perfectly. So now that we've set up uh, these basic models, we want to then display them to uh, the users of the web application. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up our routes. So a route is essentially just any kind of URL on the page. So for example, laravel.development forward slash admin, that would be a route, okay? If you want to forward slash admin forward slash users or users, yep, that would be another route. As you can see, those routes don't exist, so it's not found. So we need to firstly create our routes. Let's go into Sublime Text and go to our routes folder and go to web.php. And as you can see, I was already on there. And when you create Laravel for the first time, Laravel creates one route, which is a get request to the base URL, and it's returning a view. We'll get into views in the next video, but what this essentially is doing is when someone hits that route, it makes a get request to that route, it's telling it to return a view. So what we could do is we could just take that out and just do DD, which is die and dump in Laravel. Die and dump is essentially uh, just uh, killing the script and, and echoing something out. Okay, so we're just gonna do welcome. And we'll then hit save and then go to our main page and hit refresh. And as you can see, that Laravel landing page is no longer there, but it is showing welcome. Okay, so let's try and create another route. Let's just copy that and we will do forward slash admin and we will do welcome to the admin and we'll hit refresh and just do admin. And as you can see, welcome to the admin is there. You can also do variables. So let's just say we wanted it to do uh, admin forward slash users and then we wanted it to be a user ID. So for example, in our web application, if we're actually looking at a user, a specific user, we can open up the curly brackets and put ID. You can call this whatever you want. This is just, this is just a variable. And then if we hit save, what we're gonna do here is we are going to uh, return the ID that gets typed into the get request. So let's do welcome to the uh, admin and then um, we'll do dot uh, user and then dot uh, we need to pass in the function which is uh, we'll pass in the variable so we've got the variable here in the get request and then we have to pass in the ID here and then we'll just do ID so let's go here and we'll refresh it and we'll just put like 100 there as you can see it says it's not found so the reason is because I didn't do it properly let's do admin users 100. As you can see, the 100 now comes there. If I do, uh, say, 55, it's there as well. So let's just make a space there and do it again. There we go. So that's how you pass data into the view from your route. Now, this is overly simplistic. What we are going to do with our scalable web application is we're going to make the routes go to controllers. Now what controllers are, are essentially the middleman between a model and the view. In the next video, we're going to be learning about the view and then we'll look into controllers.